Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tash and this is Tash Tech. I needed a filament rack to put all my filament in so it wasn't all over the place. And it was previously just thrown about this room, my studio here uh, with all my 3D printers and I hated that. So we built a rack. It's two levels. It's made with a piece of white melamine and some dowel rods. That's it. It fits all, almost all of your your rolls of filament, your generic, and I have to say almost because I haven't really, I don't know if it doesn't fit any of them, but all of my rolls fit in there perfectly and it's easy to remove. I used basic tools to build it. Like I said, white melamine, dowel rods, I used a drill and some wood glue and some, and then just some uh, spray paints, black spray paint, that's it. And it was easy as that. As you can see, I've got different types in here because I like to collect and test 3D filaments, 3D printing filaments. Um, it fits in my cupboard and there I've got a printer up here, my DaVinci. And then the main thing uh, that I've put in here as well that we need to look at when you're building a filament rack is moisture control. You need some sort of dehumidifier. You don't need to go get those expensive solutions that some people are offering right now. Um, you know, you can buy them online and things like that with the whole weather station built in and it alarms you and you need to uh, turn it on or whatever the case is. All you need to do is get your normal uh, average rechargeable water glass mini dehumidifier that you would get to put in your clothing cupboard uh, which is this little guy here this is a cfw dehumidifier i purchased this online from their web from their web shop and it was 399 rand once off and they shipped it to me for free and everything works 100 percent all you do is you plug it in and you let it run and uh, from reading the instructions what you can even do is if you plug it in you can even unplug it and move it around because it does last for up to four hours after that and it pulls all the moisture out of the air helps your filament a little bit because then all that moisture is not being uh, withdrawn into the filament because it's a lot of biodegradable filament um, and yeah that's that so here's how we made the filament rack I guess I'm just taking the plastic of our bottle a piece a piece of uh, pine laminated pine as you can see here but I ended up using this as a shelf and I ended up using some white melamine that I had um, as the sides because I thought you know painting pine black because I wanted to paint it black would be just um, unacceptable so I ended up using some melamine that I had in back there I decided mm, I'm not gonna paint it black I'd rather use that as a shelf so I took the white melamine that I had there ripped it down the center a uh, filament roll spool there and just marked the circular half circular a circular pattern on the, on the board trimmed off the one side that was a little bit wider than the other laid it on top clamped it together So I just marked all the holes on the top rack, drilled out the holes. It's smoking there because I'm, I'm drilling a bit slower, but the trick here was to get that drill bit as lined, uh, aligned as, as straight as possible because the, the dowels are going to go through it and you don't want it at an angle. Then I took it, put it to the bottom section so we could match exactly the top, marked out the holes there, clamped it together again, drilled out the bottom rack holes as well. Thank you. 
So the bit I use, there's a 12 millimeter spade bit. You need a bit that's the same size as the dowels you choose. I chose 12 millimeter. It's very strong and because I'm not putting a frame in place, a structure as such, I thought it needs to be a little bit bigger or wider than your normal size dowels, uh, depending on how long you want your rack to be. So I bought, I bought 12 millimeter, two meter long. Um, I bought enough for the top rack and then I just cut it in half so that I can get twice as much out of it for the bottom rack as well. So yeah, we just uh, dipped it in some glue and I uh, popped it in the holes there uh, on one side and this is the funniest part because lining it up was not the easiest thing on earth as you can see, but I didn't want any structural frame or anything in there. I just wanted it to stand up by its own rack, the own dowels itself and I could achieve that if we use some decent, um, decent glue there as you can see it, it took a while to line it up and to get it square but we eventually did it and we the dowel itself was a little bit smaller than the holes which gave us a little bit of play which was good We, we, we eventually ended up clamping a piece of scrap wood to the one side so we could push it flush against that and then uh, I, I got it all square, used a toolbox to prop it up there and something on the other side, added a bit of weight on the other side there and then I decided to just fill in those holes because they were a little bit bigger with some more glue which actually worked very well but the rack itself is very strong once it was once it dried um, and then I just wiped off the excess with the wet, the wet cloth as you can see there. Just cutting off the uh, the excess dowels that came off the end there. Um, some of them were not exactly two meters, so they were a little bit longer than the others. So uh, I cut my finger there, as you can see. You'll see a plaster later on on that. <laughs> don't don't be like me. Be safe. So much I really like using this paint, it's the Rust-Oleum 2X, so it's twice the, the cover, so one spray gets you basically two, uh, two coats and it works very well, it covers very well, it's a good nice black paint. I chose black because if you can imagine putting a colored filament against this, it makes it pop so you can have a better decision when choosing your filament that you want to use because uh, it will give you the best uh, view of the color. As you can see, so we just painted the whole thing with spray paint with the US Golden 2X color. Um, you can put a bit of prime on if you want, but we don't need to. And the other thing with the with the, uh, the laminate pine, it would, would have soaked up quite a bit of this, so I'm glad I actually went with the with white melamine.
thanks for watching, guys. Uh, just, a, just a quick note. I am giving away four of these CFW dehumidifiers. All you need to do if you want one of them is to like this video and uh, share this video on any social media, that's, um, that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, even Snapchat, with the hashtag #tashtech, hashtag #tashtech, and I could be sending you one of these CFW dehumidifiers. Cool.